Make them last. Mona Moore from the Mom Zone is here with more. All these beautiful flowers. Are they still a hit with moms for Valentine's Day? You know, flowers are a hit with everybody. And um, there was a study done that said m the majority of people can remember the last time that they received flowers. So if you want to be remembered, you want to give flowers. You know, that is true. But, <clears throat> excuse me, what about when you're buying for somebody else? Of course, you have the red roses that the guys yes. can get for Valentine's Day. But a lot of people are also buying for moms and sisters and that kind of thing. Exactly. So how do you know what kind of flower to buy? And we asked our friends at Cactus Flowers to help us out with that. And what they said was, consider the person's personality. So obviously you've got roses for the love of your life. But let's say you've got somebody who's casual and earthy, you know, likes the outdoors. She recommended getting something uh, flowering or green plants, this natural right here. I like this. This is what? The ro romantic. That, and that's the romantic. So you must be a romantic. That's somebody who's generous, spontaneous, and extravagant. Oh, that's so true. She said get bouquets of soft colors, light fragrances, and accents with ribbons. And you can see the little ribbon around there. It's yeah, beautiful. That is really cute. The contemporary is unique. Yes, it is. And that's exactly it's cut for cutting edge trendsetters who enjoy living in the moment. Isn't okay. that beautiful? Yeah, what's this one? Now, that one is the expressive. And that's individuals who seek personal betterment and are attracted to unconventional. All right, now, Isn't that beautiful? these are all beautiful. I think anybody would love getting any of these. But how do you make them last? Right, and you know, the one big tip um, that we got was make sure that you're always giving the flowers fresh water. That is the biggest tip that they had, and you always want the water line to be above the stems of the water. So okay. always be changing the water, and then obviously um, give it uh, flower food from any of your local florists. Get some flower food and throw it in there, and it'll last really long. It sounds long. so easy, but you got to do it. It does. You have to do it. You just got to change that water out. Okay. Well, that's a good tip. And then what about if, you know, when they slowly start to die, but you want to keep them as a keepsake? Yeah. And, you know, if you've got a special occasion, an anniversary, something like that, what you want to do is you actually want to pull the flowers out at their peak so you don't want to wait till they wither pull them out hang them upside down to dry and um, and then you can press them and, and make beautiful things this right here is just gorgeous I think this right is that. the cutest thing that you were showing me and they made it and it looks like little kids it and they're made like out of flower petals they're made out of flower petals isn't that gorgeous yeah that is and you have some other designs here too that yeah that were made out of flowers and that kind of thing anything else that you would want to do to keepsake your flowers um, that's pretty, nope, that's pretty much it. You just want to make sure you get the flowers. The key is just getting them at their peak. Don't wait until they wither. Okay, that's a good idea. And one more question. Do you have to cut the flowers, like, diagonal before you put them in the vase? Because that's what I've heard. Yes, absolutely. That's actually another tip that she gave us to keep the flowers fresh, is once you get them, you want to go ahead and cut the stems diagonal. Okay. And then the water is the most important thing. I know. You know what? I didn't water some that I got last week, and See? I learned. So uh -huh. thank you so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's a great tip. And to find out more about the Mom Zone, all you have to do is call 480-917-0306 or log on to momzone.org. And we'll be right back.